Jordan Sinclair interests me, and that is all. Right. Since when? What? How long have you had your eye on Jordan Sinclair? Ever since he came to Oakdale. And don't be so surprised that your mother and your sister and I all find him attractive and interesting. He's everything you're not. We used to be so close. That's before I knew who you really were. Now get out. Fine, go be with Jordan. Go do whatever it is you have to do. But don't make an enemy out of me. Or you'll be sorry we ever met. I already am. Ladies first. Jordan Sinclair. Why would she hire a top-rate investigative team to put it together? While she was in St. Bart's. Close. Please find the information you requested about Jordan Sinclair. Oh. <laughs> so you never heard of Jordan Sinclair before you came to Oakdale? Next week, sharing in kindergarten. This has got everything in it except his baby teeth. What does it take to get something like this together? It must take months. Long before Rosanna came back to Oakdale and met Jordan for the first time. How long have you had your eye on Jordan Sinclair? Ever since he came to Oakdale. I knew it. Through her teeth to you, Jordy boy. You and me both. Three pieces of clothing is going to Vegas. Where's Sinclair? Uh, he's running an errand. We've got ten minutes to get everything downstairs onto the truck. Right. Get him here and leave my name out of it. Oh, we're leaving. Even better. Are you going to be here? Oh, yeah. I got a file that needs copying. I'm going to be here for a while. Barbara. Barbara's not here. Where is she? You know, home, I'm guessing. I had Blaine get you here so you and I can have another one of our little chats. I don't have time for that right now, Paul. Not now. We have less than 24 hours and before the show. And yet you found time to play Where's My Zipper with Rosanna. Oh, come on. You come on. Do you have any idea what she's worth? Somewhere around here, I have a copy of Captain Motor's annual report. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's rich. So what? And recently divorced. Somehow she manages to bind up all her wounds and throw herself at you, Jordan. Why you? Come on, don't tell me you haven't asked yourself that question. I mean, you're a smart guy, Sinclair. Smart enough to know that a guy like you has nothing to offer a woman like Rosanna. So tell me, why you? Is there a point to this whole story here, or are you just... Oh, yeah. I was hoping that you could help me out with this next little bit. This is a rather detailed dossier, exhaustive, really. No stone left unturned. And what is the subject? The subject is you. <laughs> you never quit, do you, Paul? Nope. But this isn't mine. I found this this afternoon in Rosanna's room. Got this? I already told you. Rosanna's room. 
So you stole it? No, I'm not going to keep it. In fact, you know what? You can bring it back to her. That'll give you a chance to find out why she was nosing around. Paul, not that this, that this is any of your business, but Rosanna already told me that she did a background check on me, and I don't blame her. As you pointed out, she's a wealthy, powerful woman. And it only makes sense that she would check out anyone who she gets involved with on any level. This is old news. Older than you think. Check out some of the dates on these records. In fact, you know what? Here it is. Check out the cover sheet. This is, this is the, the, the uh, fax that the agency sent down to her hotel room in St. Bart's, which, if I'm not mistaken, was months before she came back to Oakdale and met you for the first time. So, you really think it's old news? Tell me, why was Rosanna checking up on you before she even met you? feel compelled to compile a dossier about you before she even met you. She wouldn't. These dates, this cover letter, they're forgeries. Simple enough for a man with your money. You think I forged those documents? Jordan, why would I do that? To cause trouble, Paul. Because you're jealous. Ever since the moment I arrived, you've been trying to knock me down. Now that your mother depends on me, your sister confides in me, and Rosanna cares about me, <laughs> You can't take it. Well, aren't you proud of yourself? But you're wrong, Jordan. Take a look at this. What is this? Rosanna also kept a diary. You're just spickle. Come on, you're not even just a little bit curious? I mean, I was. It's very interesting. Here. This is fun. Jay arrived in Oakdale as scheduled. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that, that you're Jay. Uh, initiated contact with Jay in Lakeview Lobby. Oh, this one's my favorite. Ran car into a ditch. Jay came running. Almost kissed me. But his damn cell phone rang. Saved by the bell, huh? See, I couldn't have forged this. How could I even have known about that? I don't understand. You know what I don't understand? <laughs> How Rosanna, with those big eyes, could be looking up at you all puckered, and you answer your cell phone? What are you... <laughs> Any man worth half his salt would have bounced that call to voicemail. Did she get to the part where it says Jay doesn't suspect a thing? Jay can never know. Jay can never find out. She's playing you, Jay. Hello, it's me. Jordan Sinclair is responding. It's just a matter of time. Yes, I will marry him, just like we agreed. Get all sappy on me, okay? We have a lot to do here. <laughs> Diana, can I see that bodice again? You know what, Carly? Don't even bother with the bodice. Oh, Paul, thank goodness you're here. There's so much to do. All right, anybody who's here to work on the fashion show in any capacity, please, pack up your stuff and get out. Oh, what are you talking about? We, we haven't even started the run-through yet. There's been a change in plans. There's been a change in plans. What are you talking about, Paul? What should I do? Um, take 15, everybody, okay? But don't go far. Do you explain to us what you're talking about? I'm calling off the fashion show. What? It's over, Barbara. I know what you were planning. Did you really think you would get away with it? Do you have any idea what he's talking about? I have no clue. Oh, hey, guys, I know I'm late, but just point me wherever you need me, and, um, uh, yeah, where is everybody? Your brother told them to leave. There's been a change in plans. Oh, well, should I get, uh, Jordan? Jordan's here. Where else would he be? <laughs> I don't know.